Hello, fellow Capricorns. It is I, the reader for your mid-February to March tarot reading of 2019. This current fucking year. Hell yeah. I'm still doing personal readings, so if you want one, my email's in the description below. As well as my PayPal if you want to make a donation. I don't charge for my personals, but I do like tips. Tips are nice. Um, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I'm doing Thunderdome, so there's going to be Group 1, Group 2. You all should know the drill by now. Capricorn, you're going to be in here somewhere, so you figure it out on your own. I don't judge. Well, I do, but I just don't say my judgments out loud because people judge me for it, which is like, oh, that's ironic. <laughs> don't be so judgmental. Why are you being so judgmental then, you know? <laughs> Oh, I have to say, as Capricorns, we are exceptional giving people a hard time. But, let's go on. Group one, you are up. No whammies. Let's go. First group you got, five of swords. Jesus, fuck. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Six of pentacles. Ooh, someone's wanting balance. The empress. And the fear? The magician reversed. The hanged man reversed. Three of Swords reversed. Beginning theme, Nine of Pentacles. Being in your own energy, being happy by yourself, establishing yourself in your own way. Fuck the rest. You know, that kind of vibe. So, seems like we are all getting in our creative statuses. We are chilling with our own company. We have a little bat. Would be a bird, but fuck it. We want a bat. We're cool like that. Right? Right. Um, lots of stuff established around the Nine of Pentacles, I have to say. That's a good card to start with. So let's see. Five of Swords! Someone's feeling like they've been backstabbed, betrayed. There might have been somebody coming to stab them. Either you're doing the stabbing, or someone stabbed you. And fuck that person who's stabbing, regardless. Right? Queen of Cups, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. So it could be somebody who did that. Someone's seeing things for more than what they really are, looking at their true intentions, looking at the uh, marksmanship, the craftsmanship, the skill, the talent to make that cup in her hand. She's looking for things beyond what they are. Might be a little bit emotional, but she's in control of her emotions, thank goodness. She is a queen after all. Um, and she is seeing things for what they really are. This betrayal, it seems like. Someone's really examining it. Um, then we have the Magician Reverse. Someone's not doing good with their manifestations because they don't really have a lot of options. Their options don't look that great. Actually, they're more distracting. I feel like than anything. Maybe that's why they can't manifest. Six of Pentacles. Someone's trying to get their balance in check. They might have felt out of their element like that shadow person in the background, but now they're trying to come here so they can become this tiger with logs for feet, I guess. Um, slowly but patiently coming to make an offer. Knight of Pentacles, right? They want their balance, but they're taking their time to balance themselves out before making the offer, I feel like. Like someone's trying to gain their ground. This hanged man reversed. What's going against them in their challenges and obstacles? Um, let's see. Hang man. This is interesting. <clears throat> okay, he's hanging upside down. All of his coins are coming out. And there's a weight on his head. But he's more occupied with his hat than the fact that everything's falling out around him. Like, my hat's more important than all this valuable shit around me kind of thing, right? And, like, the longer he hangs there, the more he loses. So it's like, you need to let go of that hat and pick yourself up or you're going to lose everything around you. Someone needs to meditate and think on that shit. Because, <laughs> like, it, it, it's just like, the lo it, it's like almost like time. It's like the longer you're here, the less you have chance. You know, and someone's thinking about that. Someone's thinking, like, I, I wasted all this time and now I've lost so much. You know? Someone's definitely focused on that and I think that's bothering them. That's why they need to balance themselves out before they can make the offer. Then we have the Empress in the Fears and Rejections, right? Which is kind of weird. 
you know, someone who's supposed to be nurturing, caring, could be an Aries, supposed to be the mother figure, all of the queens of the courts, as one, becoming a mighty Voltron of empressness, right? Oh, she is totally bitchy. <laughs> she might lie to you. She might be bitter towards you. She might say hostile, mean things to you. That's the fear, I think. I think someone knows that this caring, kind person will bite your fucking head off. And she's looking right over at the Queen of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles, like judging them already. Like, what? <laughs> like, that, that, like, and, and, and she's saying what, not even like a question. She's saying it like a statement, like, what? Like, there's no question mark. It's just a period. What? What do you want? Like, not even, like, wanting the question to even be asked. That's the vibe I'm getting. You know? It's just like, someone is, like... They are a kind, gentle person, but they are in total bitch mode towards this Knight of Pentacles and this Queen of Cups. She's looking directly at the both of them. And the Queen of Cups, she isn't even facing her. Like, she's got her eye looking on all this other shit. She's not even paying attention that this offer is taking forever. Like, she is. She knows that it's taking forever. But she's not paying attention to it because she's too focused on this betrayal. Looking at her cup to get the answer when, like... It's almost like... It's almost like she sent him off to send the offer about the betrayal. But he's drunk. So he goes and gets drunk. And now he's got to wait till he sobers up before he can actually, like, talk to this hostile bitch who isn't even a hostile bitch. She just doesn't like her. That's... <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's kind of funny to me. It's just like, how are you going to deal with somebody who doesn't even like you? Like, if this Queen of Cups did the betrayal, like, how are you going to deal with somebody who's, like, really salty, you know? We got the Three of Swords that somebody's trying to recover from, and the Catalyst as well as the final result, right? Someone's trying to mend their broken heart after it's been broken. Could have been by this Queen of Wands. Maybe that's why, like, this Knight of Pentacles is taking their time, because they know she's bitchy. They know she's angry. They know she doesn't want to cooperate. Like, let's see. Yeah, there is hesitation. Someone's really hesitating to attempt to fix this broken heart. Damn. Ah, oh, yeah, look at that. Uh, double energy right there. Nine of Pentacles, both of them. Someone is, like, well too established in their, um selves to do anything about this that's the vibe I'm getting right now like I feel like the queen of wands she could be very aggressive and she can be she is aggressive especially upside down like that especially reverse she is i want what i want and i want nothing less but i will take more kind of vibe you know like she's going to have what she wants or she's gonna have that bad attitude right but she's got the empress which means that she does have the ability to be patient and kind it does mean that she has the ability to chill the fuck out when necessary but she's mad and she's sitting here watching, waiting for this dude who's taking forever, who's trying to fix himself out, while this bitch over here is just sitting while he's sending her message. It's like... This person's turning their back to this whole situation because of this betrayal. Whether they caused it, or they've been betrayed it really doesn't matter because they aren't doing much about it like and i feel like this isn't a lack of manifestation this is refusing because there's no options available all the options are shit but it's like they haven't even tried she's too busy staring up here to even try to think of something to do 
she just thinks about how much time she's wasted instead of being like, oh, hey, that's right, I've wasted time. I wonder how this person feels. Let's go talk to them about it and see how they feel before she bites my fucking head off for taking so fucking long. I mean, like, they're too focused on the time being lost than they are than the time that remains. If that makes sense. What a weird person. This <laughs> is... It's just like, uh, but I don't know if somebody else, I mean, it doesn't have to be. It could be the Capricorn, but it's like, I don't know. Yeah, there, nothing's happening on this side at all. Like, no one's taking any action. No one's doing anything, group one. No one's moving to even attempt a new beginning, to take the action to. It's just like, this person's a waste of time. I'll, I'll, like, I'll say that right now, group one. Whoever this is, they're a waste of fucking time. Like, why, like, if you're waiting on this person, which, I, anybody, if you're waiting on this person, group one, or if somebody's waiting on someone in group one who's this person, don't bother, because if they're, they're just gonna keep wasting time, they're taking their time, they're wasting their time, who has time to waste? Yeah, look at this, and then they're gonna break their own fucking heart, look at that. <laughs> like, there's still heartbreak in this, like, someone's suffering from the heartbreak, they need to repair it, but they're not even gonna try. There's no effort. Like, what is the point? Look at this. Look at this nonsense right here. I'm just calling it nonsense because whoever this person is is just... They're, it's like you're doing it to yourself. But, I, but I'm having a hard time feeling bad for you doing it because you know that, like... Like, I'm getting in my feelings a little bit about it, but it doesn't reflect me at all. Like, this, is, I, this has nothing to do with me, but I just feel like... This person is so comfortable with, like, doing their own thing that they'd rather just keep putting this off. But they still want to bring up the fact that it makes them feel bad. It's like they're getting empowered in their own image from this heartbreak. And it's just kind of like, okay, what happens when you don't have that anymore? Like, you can't keep feeling sad forever. You know, it's not like you lost a kid or anything. Or, like, somebody really important to you. You would hope that there would be somebody that um, you're working on, but if it's with somebody who's genuinely angry at you and might be bitter with you, and you know that they're kind of, like, chill? You know, like, it, okay, the Queen of Wands still has an image to uphold. Even if she comes off bitter and angry, she's still not gonna lose her cool. So it's like, she, and this could be Aries since this is two fires, right? So it could be an Aries you might be dealing with, but this person could be kind, this could be gentle, but it's like, no, they're not, they're being impatient and stuff. Maybe that's the fear. And yeah, this is all secrets. This is all an illusion, right? Oh my god, this is an illusion! Group one, whoever this person is, this is an, this is an, an illusion. This isn't real. The moon's right here. Could be Cancer, could be um, Pisces, but this is all under an illusion. Like, this isn't um, a real scenario. So I don't even know why I was rambling on about that to begin with. Now I'm kind of irritated. Fuck. <laughs> but yeah, like, whoever whoever this is, player one. Whoever you're dealing with, or if this is you. This whole thing where this Empress person is being bitchy, and that there's you need to hesitate when it comes to trying to fix this, this is an illusion. Go fix your shit. Just go do it, you know? Now we're going to move on to player two. Ugh, it, like... I don't know. That one actually kind of bothers me because it was just like, okay, it's, I don't know. It's like just this right here. Just that. It's just like, how important is it for you to look and be like, I don't, I don't, I don't know what it is, but it was just like, it was just the image status that, um, player one, you're kind of bothering me with whoever it is you're dealing with, if it's not you, but, um, there is something in that that's just someone's too hung up i think on their looks to realize how much it's going to hurt later on that's what i feel like now we're going to group two Sorry, I have to write down this. Okay. One more shuffle, and then we'll get started. Yeah, I'm sorry, player one. I, I didn't mean to come off as harsh. 
But it was like... Something in that vibration was just rubbing me the wrong way. I don't know what it is, but it was just like, you need to back up. That Like, that was my emotional response a little bit, I guess, if that makes sense. It's like what I wanted to put out, like, you need to back off with your bullshit. Like, I, 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 don't, I don't like who that was in Player Ones at all. But now we're going to yours and seeing what you're going to say. Maybe you have something to rebut about it, or maybe there's more information you can give play, Player Two, or Group Two. Whoever the fuck you want to respond to as. We must just start calling me inmates. No whammies. All right, player two. Temperance. Sagittarian energy. The sun. Seven of cups reversed. The high priestess reversed. Judgment reversed. Nine of wands reversed. The moon. Illusions. Um... Someone might be playing with your head a little bit with the moon. Someone might be manipulating you emotionally. Hmm. Hmm. After player one, I kind of believe that. Because, like, that that was, like, you know, <laughs> it was, like, really kind of gross vibes. Like. Like, I, I, I can't explain it. Like, it's very rare that I run it, and like, I, that I do readings that I don't like the person I'm reading for, and with player ones, with group ones, I should say. There's someone they're dealing with that, um, I don't like that person. Like, they, they like, I don't know. It was just like, they just gross me out. It's like, and it was, I don't know, man. It, it just moved me out. But, like, yeah, you guys got temperance. You got patience. Might be Sagittarius. This guy actually could be part of mine since, like, I got Sagittarius rising. Mm. That's nice. But there is a call for communication, a call for needing to come together to join as one with a emotionally manipulative. <laughs> what? <laughs> no. Uh, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, someone who might be emotionally manipulative, who's letting their emotions, um, get in the way of the, actually figuring things out, like being overly emotional, being over dramatic, being like, ah, and then just going on a bed and like crying themselves to sleep, and then wanting dinner, and then acting like nothing happened, and then they start drinking, and then they do the exact same thing, and like, I don't know, it's like somebody who can't control themselves. There needs to be patience with somebody who can't control themselves. Yeah. This is already fucking for me. Um, the High Priestess. Reverse in the situation, right? She's not expressing things like she normally would. In fact, I feel like she is not saying much of anything about a third party situation. That someone might have put them in. <laughs> okay, maybe this isn't mine. That's cool. I'm actually kind of happy. Um, the sun could be a Leo, right? Mind you, there's like one, two, three, four, five, five higher major arcana on the board. Um, someone wants, someone is happy, possibly a Leo. They want that, but. In order to get their happiness, there's something they're going to have to figure out. And since he's pointing down, I assume it's something with this judgment call. Could be wrong, could be saying that something isn't getting resurrected again. Someone needs to learn a lesson in order to get happy. Queen of Wands! Sagittarius Leo Aries, once again. What's going against you is the bad judgment call of a Queen of Wands. Someone who's usually fair. Knows things that most people don't know. Kind of goes with the high priestess knowing about like possibly somebody being overindulgent or somebody even in a third party situation maybe an affair. Player group one did speak of like heartbreak. Well, the Queen of Wands is upright. She's not reversed, so like obviously. Hmm. 
I feel like this is more like the right thing to do. Like... This Queen of Wands could have possibly... have decided against... a resurrection of some sort. She's holding her head eye looking towards the future, right? And there might be a need to learn how to be happy. It's kind of the vibe I'm getting. Seven of Cups in the Fears and Rejections. Ooh. Well, last three cards popped up. Let's see. Someone feels a little bit emotionally confused. They don't know what to do. They don't think there's any options available when it comes to not getting an apology, not giving away an apology, a new beginning, that kind of crap, right? It's like... Somebody... I feel like someone feels like there's no point in looking at what other options are available because they don't because they already know they're not getting this like they already have a fear they're, they're not going to get like a new beginning with somebody right hmm then we have nine of wands someone is being really defensive Offense is the best defense, so they're throwing their fence at somebody. Um, because of this, a breakup. The lovers reverse, possibly Gemini. Um, catalyst as well as final result. If someone's being extra defensive because, like, they feel like there are no offers that are going to come that's going to be this. I'm also really dealing with this Queen of Cups over here because I feel like she was really important with group ones. Like, she's facing all of this. Like, her back was turned up here before. Looking at her own shit. But it, when she's looking at everything else, she's screwed up. She's too emotional. She doesn't see everything for the way it is, I feel like. And then we have the moon right here. And the nine of pentacles. Someone doesn't feel like themselves, and that's the illusion. Which is, like, interesting as shit, right? Like... I feel like group one is dealing with somebody who is obsessed with who they are and establishing who they are. And group two, I feel like you are having issues with figuring out who you are with all of this. Because, like, a player with group ones, right? The queen was over here and she was upright, but she had her back turned to everything that was actually going on around her. And now that she's facing everything, it's all, like, fucky. It's all backwards. It's like, the queen of wands isn't... Looks like she ha chose, like, something that looks like a bad judgment call. But, but I don't feel like it's a bad judgment call. And, like... Up above that, someone's wanting happiness, but they need to learn something. She's not coming forth with um, this third-party situation in the High Priestess. She's actually hiding it more than anything. And now someone feels like there's no options when it comes to a new love proposal and that, like, someone needs to keep their guard up when it comes to a relationship breakup. It's like one person is doing their damnedest to prove that, like, they are happy without somebody, and the other person hasn't yet figured out that they're kind of fucked up. It's almost like a mirror. But a really fucked mirror. My cards are chipping me the fuck out today. Oh my goodness. Like you have no idea. Well, you do because you can watch all the other videos or whatever, right? But it's like, it, it, like I'm literally looking at two people who are looking at themselves 
and they're seeing the complete opposite of what's on the board. This person's emotional, whoever this is, group two. The other person at the Queen of Cups, upright, isn't paying attention enough to see what the fuck's going on around them. It's like, I'm seeing what's on the other side of each one's cup. Like, she's looking in the cup, but she sees this shit. When someone's looking at her, they see something completely fucking different. I am so glad I am not in this. Because <laughs> I just be like, wait, what the fuck? Oh my god. At least I don't think I am. I don't recognize anything, but it's like, yeah. Like, and now, and, and, and look at this. And now the Queen of Wands is no longer looking at the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is looking up here, but she's still eye glancing the Queen of Wands. When before, the Queen of Wands was looking at the Queen of Cups to see what she, the fuck she's going to do. Now, the Queen of Cups just stays, it, it, it's just like, I don't know what she's doing. Like, she might, like, she has patience behind her. But there's also ill judgment, bad judgment about the Queen of Wands. Someone had a bad, I feel like someone had a bad judgment call about this Queen of Wands, and that's why she was in the fear with the Empress. This is tripping me fuck out. Like some two people, somebody has the wrong idea about somebody, and it's showing up in both y'all. So you both are definitely dealing with each other. This is like tripping me out. Though it's just like ah, oh, I, I totally needed drugs for this reading, but not the bad kind. Someone is looking for a happy ending, but there, uh, but someone's willing to run away to that happy. End. <laughs> what? Okay, wait. Wait, wait. God damn it, YouTube. I don't need you to pull a Netflix. No, don't go to sleep, monitor. Open your fucking eyes. YouTube, quit stopping my fucking videos. I don't even know how long it's been quiet. But someone's definitely wanting to... Could be this fire sign once again, this Queen of Wands who's running and galloping to her happiness that's in the past. But it's like, do you really want to be... Do you really want to hang out with somebody who sees you in bad light? I'm like, I don't know if this Queen of Wands should run to this Queen of Cups right here just for a chance at happiness. I don't know how good that'll turn out, honestly. There might, I mean, like, hmm, because there's heartbreak on their side, too. Yeah, and here's the world is completion. So, it's like, hmm. Like, yeah, all this is heartbreaking. That's why this fire sign's running to their own happiness. It's heartbreaking. Maybe they'll come back to you. Queen of Cups reversed, but it's like... It's only because they want to fix themselves. Not because, like, they actually love you. I mean, if that was the case, these cards would be reversed. Like, they'd have a happy ending, then they go running and then try to fix this mended heart with you. No, these are backwards. Like, there's happiness over here, and they're getting away from this heartbreaking situation. My thing is, though, is that... Even if they did come back... Do you want to deal with this? Tagged along with this. I mean, like, that's the real question. But that is y'all's reading, so I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.